Good morning guys, welcome to Tuesday. Today's Tuesday, just Sophie and I are home this morning, so we're doing chores. Yesterday, Sam went and picked up this adorable little dump trailer for us. He bought it to pull behind the lawn tractor, and he still needs to get some kind of a screw or something to make it fit our lawn tractor a little bit better. But yeah, he bought it, it's a dump truck, it's a dump trailer, and we can use it for a lot of things. Yesterday, something crazy happened. Something happened to change our lives forever. We got something that change is gonna change our lives forever. You guys know Sophie struggles with her hair. Like her, you guys don't even understand. She has, I think she has like, I don't even know how to say it so it's politically correct. She has the kind of hair that even once it's brushed, it's so thick and it twirls into a knot. So like even when she's just walking and playing after it's been brushed, it continues to twirl, twirl, twirl. It's like dreadlocks. She has like hair that's between normal hair and dreadlock hair. Like it's brutal. She can't What's brush dreadlock? it. I'll show you a picture. It's like she can't do anything with it on her own. Like brushing it every day is excruciating. The knots that happen, like it's unreal. Yesterday we went to the dollar store. I just happened to pick up this detangler stuff and we used it today, it was shocking. It was earth shatteringly different. Like I sprayed it on and then put the brush through and the brush just slid like butter through her hair. We were like this. Like anyway, so then this happened. Finally, my girl can wear different hairstyles. Like she could never wear different hairstyles before. The Be kids are crying for us. Because you couldn't do anything with her hair. Like I'm not even joking, you guys. It is so thin. And it yeah, it feels thin and straight and glorious. And as soon as the, I started brushing, she's like, oh, I want pigtails. <laughs> because she can actually do stuff with her hair. So we're gonna see how it goes, but I bet you're gonna see a whole new Sophia that can manage that hair. We're coming. Okay, so I like to put the um, treats that I buy for the coaches in there. I also have red ribbon for Stormy Boy, paintbrushes, and my glue sticks that I need to take back up to the house. But anyways, Comment below. That's for kids. Yeah, that's for the kittens. Okay, come see what they do. Okay. Uh, comment below if you guys know what the red ribbon is for. So now that we let the cats out, maybe that's what the expression let the cat out of the bag. Once you let the cats out of the bag, okay. out of the barn, you, you can never get them back in again. No, Molly. Molly. And then they want to come out. Yeah, as soon as we they hear us now, they cry and they're like, take me out of here. Which, to be honest, I'm not ready for them to come out and be free yet. Is that cat poop? No, mud. It's mud. You're lucky. Molly! Hello, kitty cat. Ooh. Molly, back it up. Away from the kitties. They're still a little nervous. Cheesy. I'm going to get them some water. Molly, leave him alone. And they destroy our room. Soon this is gonna be a chicken room. Or the stall to my new horse. A oh, quick update on my new horse. I found three possibilities. <laughs> Fiona's like, I thought you were taking your time. I'm like, I know, but I just need to know, like, if I'm gonna get one, or like, I just need to know. So there is my dream mare. Everything I wanted in a horse. She's available. I could buy her right this minute. Bring her home, but she's not in Canada. Or there's a gelding that is not my dream horse. He's actually a stallion. He needs to be gelded, which is the problem. Uh, he's an unusual color, a really neat color, a unique color, and his face is gorgeous. Like, his face is my dream face, but he's not my dream color. Uh, and he's not gelded. Or there's a foal that is ready in December, which is probably a great time for us to get which is probably a really great time for me, um, but he's a foal, and that would mean like three years of just training him, which would be really great because we could handle him and he could be around the kids, and I mean, we could make him exactly what we want, and then, yeah, so those are my three options. None of them are perfect, none. One is perfect, but she lives far away, so comment below, what do you guys think? Option one, a perfect boy who's not my dream color, but he needs to be gelded and he's local, I could try him. Number two, my dream mare, everything's perfect. She's broke to ride, she's eight years old, she's perfect, gentle. I've already got her videos approved by Fiona that she's amazing, she would be good for me. Um, but she'd have to be shipped from the US and that would be really hard on her, I think. 
and Yay. and probably expensive and she's the most Boy. expensive she's doubled the tri price of the ones here her or the little baby foal the foal is a boy and he's my dream color everything else about him is amazing except for that he's a foal that's price is awesome okay so those are three options we have right now or four wait Laura just wait hold in there don't rush into it just wait and God will bring the horse to you that you're meant to have I'm not gonna lie feeding time at the zoo is not my favorite time they're like cannibals I don't even know if that's really what you're supposed to say they're like they're like annoying. Still getting thinner. You feel like your hair's getting thinner? Turn around here for a sec. So like, the back of her hair's never ever looked like this. Even when we put a five pounds of conditioner, like all the other stuff we've tried, it's never looked like that. I'll turn this way. Normally, it's like a dreadlock. It's like a, they're all pieces of hair. Like her hair's never just been one piece like this. It's all been like curled, tight, tight-ish groups of hair. I can't even describe it what her hair is like. I should have like looked into figuring out what kind of hair she has and how to fix it. But her hair's never ever looked like that one single time ever in the history of the world. And she just keeps touching it because it I feels can. thin. She can run her fingers through her hair for the first time in her life. It is so super cool out today. It's windy and gorgeous. I want Sophie to ride Jean Finn, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Unfortunately, I have so many things I want to do, uh, but I have to clean the house. I have to clean the house before I can do anything else today. This video is going to end up being all about my new horse. All about my new horse that I don't actually have yet. Go! I to feed my babies. Feed my ponies. Come on, Gracie. Here's your food, my love. Okay, so some people ask me, like, why do you want to get a mare, Laura? Why a mare? And so here's my thing about a mare. When the boys go away in the summer, in the wintertime, I'm not going to send my horse. Like, you know how we board our horses in the wintertime to ride? Well, hopefully when we move, we're going to have someplace better that we can ride, like indoor. That's our goal. Um, but our boys are going to go away, and I'm not going to want to ride all winter. I'm not a winter rider, and that's okay. Lots of horses don't ride in the winter. So she'd be able to stay with the with the ponies. Also, when we take our horses to shows, like there will be times when we take all three of them to shows. There will be times like, then she can stay with the ponies. But then I thought like, most of the time we only take two horses to show. So what if we went to a horse show and we got, had a gelding and he could stay? Like there'd always be those two. I don't know. It's it's like it's a hard thing to figure out. But I can tell you this. In my heart, my heart wants a mare. Like I, my heart wants a mare. I don't know how to describe it. I just, I feel like boys are just simple. Just like people, boys, kids, boys are just simple, easy. They are who they say. Girls are so much more complex and more the superior race. No, just kidding. <laughs> come at me but girls kind of rule the world girls are like stronger girls are more powerful girls are I don't know how to describe it I really like a mare yeah let her run Sophie's trying to put on uh, Willow's fly mask and she doesn't want to this is how pretty you look she'd be looking thinner Come well, here, baby, baby. Oh my goodness. Well, keep running then, little missy, because you're not going to just stand there and eat hay. Go. Somebody's frisky. Look at my ponytail girl. Look, she's a great weight now. Sophie lunged her until she didn't want to. Sophie, Sophie tried and tried. She tried giving her hay. She tried it all. And finally, she got mad. She threw down the hay and she got a lunging whip and she dressage just. Dressage whip. Dressage whip and she just started dressaging her. <laughs> lunging her. We should put that stuff in her hair and see and what happens. Look, and now see how well she's. Uh, yeah, within minutes, she's like, okay, I'm done. Okay, you can go eat now. You can go eat now. Go eat. All right, so we are gonna um, 
head up to the house and I'm gonna do chores so I can get back down here as fast as I can. I have so many things I wanna get done in this barn. Like I wanna paint our last pole. I wanna buy more poles. And I'm gonna paint more tires, like I'm obsessed. So I wanna try that. I know you guys say use spray paint, but we have all of our colors to match our pools already, so I wanna do that. Oh yes, you little mess makers. We got all their food and water? Yeah. All right, hello, oh, she just loves us. All right, she just loves being free. Not oh, today. Yours is not very friendly. Well, he's a boy, that's why. Yeah, it's true. Oh look, he's looking at you, he's looking. He's like, are you, are you coming to let me out? Soon they'll be let out more often, but they're still really tiny. And I don't, I don't, I just don't trust them. Don't trust them. Okay, so I showed you the little dump trailer that Sam bought yesterday. Yeah, he bought a dump trailer. He would, he told, he said, Laura, I wanna go and buy this dump trailer. And I said, okay, cause we have a thing, like a rule. He can't just buy whatever he wants. Just like I can't just buy whatever I want because he would just have so much junk here. And so he came home with a dump trailer and this. So you guys know that Sam is obsessed. Really nice is it really nice? You like it? Sam is obsessed with trailers. And so he did come home with this thing. Let's put all the windows down. Let it get cool. So it's like really, really, really nice. Right, so this I is like it. it this is what, you like it more than me? Yeah. Or you like the trailer more than I like the trailer? I like the trailer more than All me. right, so this is it. This is the tour of our new trailer. It's got a devil on one side, a queen on the other side. It's got a little table here. It's got a little stove. A girl with pink tails. Girl with pink pigtails. Pink. Pig tails. They're called pigtails. No, pink tails. They're called pig. Pink. Pig tails. Pink. Um, it's got this little area over here with a kitchen. It's got a cute little fridge. Did you see the fridge? And what I always wanted a mini fridge. <laughs> you always wanted a mini fridge? Yeah. So then it's got like all the stuff. We can plug it in down here. It's down at the barn. We can plug it in and we could sleep out here, run like an air conditioner or run probably fans would be better. We could run fans. We could sleep down here. When the grandkids come again, which will be soon, we'll be having lots of little Bye. sleepover out here. But yeah, just for fun, just something fun. So I was not mad when he brought it home. Sam loves to do this thing. Every year he's, he's addicted to buying trailers and fixing them up and then reselling them. And that's what he does every single year. He didn't do it last year because we were so busy. But now with COVID and there's nothing else to do, he couldn't resist buying it. It's a good price. He knows that he could make money from it. But for now, is our little trailer. Right, I so? like it. Yeah, the dogs are like, let me sleep in here. All right, so we cleaned up. We did chores. Poor Sophie. How Guys, did help say hi to chores? Peyton. Hi, Peyton. I can almost hi. see her forehead. That's the way of it. That's the way of the world. Um, She's in her bed. So two of our babies are laying now. So we have four egg hens laying. This is the first egg that we got from one of them. When hens start laying, they lay tiny little eggs. But then yesterday, that one I showed you guys that was laying, this is the egg she laid. It's like half the size of my finger. Like it looks big, but it's so tiny. I'm gonna eat it today. And it has spots. And it's spotted, yeah. She's such a cute little chicken. They will come. My yeah. mom's gonna crack it open. To... Uh-oh. Laura, they have to, the horses that come from Texas, they have to go in quarantine for 21 days. Oh, is that true? Yeah. That's what my horse has to do, because there's a virus. To horses. That was bigger than that. Yeah, so the tinier egg had, I should maybe have another because those are small eggs. <laughs> you need like five of these eggs. The one that laid yesterday had a bigger yolk. Like the there we go, there's my triplets. I definitely need to get another water trough because I'm filling up their water three times a day. We have three waters at three times a day. This holds about eight buckets of water. Hi, Chino. Hello, Bambi. Oh, Storm. Why is it always gotta be about you? Hey. Hello. Hello, handsome. The one thing I like about this field is that there's a ton of shade back here and the bo boys actually do hang out in the shade, especially Chino. The one thing that's missing though, and lost his fly mask. That's what he does. 
what they all do. They know how to get their own way. They know how to live like horses. They know how to live without fly masks. They rub their faces together until they come off. Yep. They like fresh water, that's for sure. Yesterday we had to come and check on Willow because, I'm actually, I'm gonna spray that thing too. Yesterday we had to come and check on Willow because Sam said he fed them lunch and Willow wouldn't go outside to eat it. I was like, well, she didn't go outside to eat it. There's a problem. And there was a problem. The problem was that it was so hot. She didn't want to do anything. None of them did. Yesterday was a scorcher, but today is beautiful, gorgeous, amazing. Still been thinking about my horse. Like, I'm thinking about it all day, all week. Yeah, it's just insane. So, I'm going to WD-40 this thing. Because it squeaks. See? There we go. Do this side. So basically the best horse for me is the mare. The one that I really like. The one that's my dream horse. The one that's calling my name. She's literally calling my name. I have seen videos of her. I've sent videos of her to Fiona. Like the whole thing. But the problem is that she's not in Canada. And with COVID, I feel like... Shipping a, a horse over would be such a big, huge thing. They have to be in quarantine for 21 days. So I have to like, I don't know. I'm still waiting to hear what the lady has to say about all of it. It seems overwhelming to me. I really think I want to buy one that's local. I just want her to be local. Oh, today I'm wearing my favorite summer dress. It's just like a little black dress and I love it. I love the neckline. I love how thin it is. Like I love everything about it. Um, and I'm gonna paint, yeah. Usually when I'm gonna paint, I try and wear something that I don't love, but yeah, that's, don't wanna change. Today feels like the perfect day to paint all of our extra tires. I actually should go get a cloth and wash it before I paint it. But that's just totally not me. I'm an impulsive, let's just do it kind of girl. It might not look like much, but it's totally my dream. Okay, so these are my, this is my first coat on these two tires. So I'm going to let them dry. Uh oh, that one's running a little. Oh well. That's what happens when you're an unprofessional painter. Um, so I'm going to leave these ones dry and then when I come back I'm going to roll them and finish the other bits. And then I'm going to paint this one blue still. But I'm excited. I'm excited to have three more new tires. I do want to paint this pole. I'm going to paint it white first but I want Sam to shave off all those little knots. This yeah, Sophie's got pigtails. Pink tails. Sophie renamed the word pigtails for pink tails. She's got pink they're tails. Pink tails. They're pink tails. Me and her, her friend and I both told her that they're pink tails. She doesn't want to believe it. She wants to believe that they're pink tails. Anyway, here's a quick story for you. Back in the day when Sam was making it his mission to find Gabby a horse, when Gabby was like two and obsessed with horses, he had dragged us to this horse farm and he's like come on we have to go look at these horses they have some for sale let's just go look I didn't know anything about horses I knew he wanted to make our kid happy and I was all for that so we ended up going to this horse farm and it was a gypsy dander farm and this is the first time that I ever in my entire life saw a horse where I thought wow these horses are so nice you could see their personality we spent hours and hours and hours there like the girls got to sit on them we got to like we got to experience so much of the gypsy banner like I um fun fact I was wearing flip-flops that day and one stepped on my foot yeah that's the first time I ever got stepped on but it was so gentle even though it's such a heavy horse so anyways it's the only gypsy banner farm that's kind of local to us that I that I know about there's another one that's at about that's a little bit further than this place and I've checked them both out online. The one that Sam dragged us to all those years ago before we even knew anything about horses. Online it looks like they're not selling horses anymore but they have a farm stand that's open every day and I'm like Sam let's go check it out because even though they might not be breeding and selling horses anymore maybe they have a horse for sale like you never know right you never know so we're being super sneaky and we're gonna go and visit this farm stand and scope out if they have any gypsy banners for sale because I did so much research today and I had so much looking today and legit my only option at this point is a uh, baby foal it's just the foal 
the other one in the other one in the states is too hard especially during covid to ship the people selling her don't really know all the procedure and 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 also it has to be quarantined for 21 days like it's just a big mess so she's just probably not a good choice and then the boy is pretty green i mean the foal is pretty green too but anyway yeah so but the foal if you when you get it as a foal you can make it yours yeah the girls want to get a foal they want to make it theirs and gypsy banners for any of you guys who don't know gypsy banners slash cob um in in europe they call gypsy banners cobs and in canada we call them gypsy banner in memory of the gypsies that are the first ones to to breed these horses um they're so super versatile horses they are honestly like puppy dogs they have the kindest gentlest disposition anybody can ride them from beginner to advanced they're just so forgiving so easy and for me I really like the size of them so all of that coupled together is what has made me fall in love with them way from way back when Sam first took us there to see those horses so with any luck we're gonna get to go and see some gypsy vanners right now and see if there are any for sale or you're lying and you're gonna get me a puppy or we're lying and this is just a big ruse to take Sophie to a spot where she can get a puppy. <laughs> it's not. It feels so bad. When you trick your kids enough. <laughs> when you when you trick your kids enough and surprise them with a puppy, then they always think every situation you're gonna surprise them for a puppy. Oh. Sophie, you're not getting a puppy. <laughs> She's not, this is not for puppies. Don't you know that you're beautiful?